With Fastlane soon approaching, we are certainly on the road to WrestleMania. Hello, everybody. I am Matt Acarpio. And I'm Kyle Rado. Let's get into another exciting episode of Monday Night Raw. It certainly shocked the WWE Universe indeed, crowning a new WWE Champion. But without further ado, let's jump into the first Raw of March 2021. Monday Night Raw opens up with former WWE Champion Drew McIntyre addressing the WWE title match later on tonight with either Miz retaining or Bobby becoming WWE Champion. But both men will have a target on their back, says Drew McIntyre. But Drew talks about his match with Sheamus actually tonight, which is next, as Miz and Morrison interrupt with Miz claiming his cash in was just the best opportunity yet. Really was a great opportunity, but trying to make an alliance with Drew McIntyre, but he had none of it. Yeah, Drew was not having any of that. With MVP interrupting, telling Miz he just has no fate and no chance come later tonight. Give I couldn't agree more, more, man. We then had an awesome match with Sheamus versus Drew. This match was about 35 minutes. Both superstars having to take each other's movesets, trying to pin the other one. Yeah, but before this match actually happens, they're just brutalizing each other until he just, the referee just gets everything settled. As we do have a good 35 minute match, like you said, but Drew actually defeats Sheamus clean. So I was happy to see Drew get a win here. Yeah, both superstars going for the powerful kick. Drew McIntyre hitting that Claymore kick for that one, two, three. We then see still to be W champion Michael Mazan in backstage claiming he has cramps and diarrhea as Bobby just attacks him as Adam then moves the match an hour back into the show uh, with the Miz just trying to get the match to happen at WrestleMania. Bobby nor MVP or Adam Pearce just have at it. We then head right into the match between the Miz and Bobby Lashley for that WWE championship. Of course, the Miz trying to get out of it any way he can just runs out of the ring right as the match starts. Ending the match in count out. Yep, with Vince McMahon telling him backstage to get back in the ring or he will be stripped of the championship. Shane McMahon then says the match will now be a lumberjack match. The Miz actually tries to cheap shot Bobby Lashley with his WWE title to end it in a DQ, but he doesn't. Bobby dodges. Miz does to try to escape the ring once again, but of course with those lumberjacks, I'm happy it was a lumberjack match. They threw him back in the ring as Bobby just applies the hurt lock, forcing Miz to tap out. And your new WWE champion, oh, Bobby this is, Lashley. This is going to be interesting. Here comes Brock Lesnar, huh? Oh, man. We then saw Nia Jax take on Naomi, which was kind of odd. Both superstars kind of had a stare down before this match backstage. All that matters here is Naomi won with a pinfall. This match was kind of blah. It was a surprising win. Kind of happy she won over Nia Jax, but it wasn't really that much needed. But Braun Strowman is then out yelling at Shane McMahon and Adam Pearce for just stripping him of his opportunities. What is he, Sami Zayn at SmackDown? But then Sh uh, Shane actually tells Braun that him and Adam Pearce will fight Cedric and Shelton for the tag team titles tonight so they can work together and go he's as a team. But it didn't work out that well. Yeah, Braun Strowman absolutely dominated the other two opponents. But then Shane McMahon tells Braun to tag in Adam Pearce. Adam Pearce going for the pin, getting rolled up by Shelton Benjamin for the Hurt Business to retain the tag team titles. Oh man, this just pissed off Braun after the match, yelling at Shane, telling him he's just gonna destroy everything that he sees, and this is the Braun that I wanna see. I don't know about you, Matt, I think we're gonna see a WrestleMania match between Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon. This look, looks like what they're trying to go to, but I can't, I just can't see it, Kyle, I can't. Oh, uh, Shane's gonna get absolutely oh, demolished. Man. We then had the Lucha House Party team up with Riddle to face Retribution, Slapjack and T-Bar. Yep, well, Slapjack certainly just took a hard elbow drop from Grand Metal League ending this match. But then we see actually Mustafa Ali versus Matt Riddle next with his fellow team just taking an L retribution prior to this match. Ali actually shows his team leadership skills as he defeats Riddle in a one-on-one -on -one bout with the ultimate bra. So he needed to look strong here for retribution. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it the cleanest victory ever. He certainly had some help with distractions from his teammate retribution. Well, then we see Damian Priest and Bad Bunny get into an altercation with Elias and Jackson Riker backstage. Damian then actually faces Elias in the ring and beats Elias with a quick roll-up pin. The Queen Charlotte Flair is in the ring talking about how she should rather be facing Asuka for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania with Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler actually attacking her as Charlotte faces off against Shayna in an impromptu match. Charlotte pins her with the natural selection. Yeah, after getting beat up, making her look very strong here. We then cut to another promo between Randy Orton and Alexa Bliss. Man, week after week, I can't wait to see what they're going to pull out next. And this one certainly dis didn't disappoint. With Randy Orton talking about his goo vomiting last week, 
that was caused by Alexa Bliss. We all know it was. As Alexa makes an appearance on a monitor, as we are then cut to a man in a black hood that is revealed to be, well, Randy Orton. It was A weird. demonic Randy Orton, yeah. While saying that the real Randy Orton that is in the ring tonight will come face to face with everything he has done in his past as Orton then just starts to kind of choke again. So this was kind of cool to see. Could we see The Fiend return soon? I think so. Well, guys, I would say that was the most entertaining Raw that I've seen in a while. Let us know what you liked most about this week's show. Always like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you when we see you. Peace out.